Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Timothy's Toy Therapy. My name is Timothy, this is Tiffany. Just to start off, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which I am recording this video, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. And I would like to pay my respects to their elders past and present. So, I would like to address this guy first in this video uh everyone might know if you're not uh new to the channel that i had a mini me and i painted his hair and painted a beard on for him didn't like it really didn't like it so this is him i commissioned doll junk to make him look like me really so he did his hair he sculpted the beard um, and I think he looks fantastic. I'm really happy to have him. He also fixed up his eyes because I just didn't didn't like the way I made him. What a response to my video last week. So many questions and so many people taking my footage and posting it without tagging me. So thank you for everyone that did tag me and let people know i what i want to say welcome to all my new followers and i really hope you enjoy this video and future videos and stick around for more today we are looking at some of the other dolls that i found in the last week it seems the stores are getting ready for christmas and they're bringing in new stock because We've basically had the same extra dolls and fashionistas on the shelf for the whole year, but almost. Um, there hasn't been any new extra dolls um, for a while. Not that I... I don't think I've bought any this year. I, I really can't remember um, what it's been like this year for the extras, except for the three that I bought last week. So this week I did go out and buy some more because they showed up and um, actually I went back for the Millie uh, that was there when I bought the Crystal and the Nisa dolls. So I'll just grab her and show you. Her. Okay so this is the Millie sculpt for this wave i guess um i wasn't gonna get her that's why i left her but i thought no i really like her accessories um i'll probably end up liking her hair i don't know her face as usual is uh it, it could have been better we could have really done with something more special than that but um her outfit is gorgeous she's got some nice shoes on, uh, cute little bags, some stickers with stars and hearts and sunglasses. And you got her sunglasses and then you got her pet. So, um, yep, that's Barbie Extra 16. Um, on, a, on the back you've got the photos as we discussed last week. Um, which gives you a better look at everything. I've been reading the comments. I know the artwork was really beautiful and creative. I agree with that. Uh, but I feel having an image of everything um, on the back, stock images of them, really works because then you know exactly what you're getting as opposed to a drawing where you might feel that that's really uh, an awesome drawing and then you look at it and maybe it's not what you want. I mean, if we went by this picture, uh, that's not what we're really getting. Millie does not have that sassy face, does she? No. All right, let's get her out of the box. Awesome, here she is. Okay, first off, as I was removing her, her hair is beautiful, it's saran. It's um, a lovely colour uh, palette, I guess. That's like an aqua. And then she's got the platinum blonde on top. 
almost white even. We, we could have had much more with the face. I understand that the designers are um, given briefs, I guess, or limitations with what they can do. Since she's a gen well, she's the main Barbie, I guess, in the extra line, she needs to look like Barbie. The jacket comes off like that. Uh, there we go. I don't mind the jacket. It's pretty nice. Um, probably my hippies will wear it. And now I'm just taking off the jacket to see. Oh, I've got a ring in the way. So she's got this ring. It says Malibu. I can get rid of that now. Um, oh my god, I didn't know this was long sleeve. I love this. I love this top. Oh, it's so cute on her. This rubber band's in the way. Um, love the necklace as well. The queen choker and then this other choker that we've gotten on the other dolls as well. Um, spiral hoop earrings and the cute little skirt. Her shoes. Uh, I think I got this with the Disco Shimmery Disco pack, but one of them was broken. So that is Barbie Extra number 16. I actually really like her hair and I may um, eventually try and get someone to repaint her because I think with a unique face, she would be worthy of my collection. And if you want to rebody her, I would say she would match the current Yoga Millie. Um, that's what her skin tone kind of looks like to me at the moment. So that's that's the skin tone. So maybe not not the generic one. I don't know. Her oh. accessories are a little Chihuahua, eyes closed. I like that these don't come off. And the Chihuahua comes with a little Chihuahua treadmill. She has this bag, and I thought these were the stereotypical sunnies we get, but they're kind of like a chain, and I like them, so I'm happy with that. The next doll we have is Barbie Extra number 14, and I really love her outfit. I love this um, little sticker here. I'm going to stick that somewhere. I'm not sure where. Um, but she is a curvy doll. She is nostalgic and oh, flat feet. She does come with the original box with the artwork on the back. As you can see, this is kind of her continuation wave, I guess. I don't know how how they sort this stuff out. But, I mean, you've got images, drawings of everything she comes with. You can't exactly see it so clear here. And if you look at the pet, the, the thing is, they've illustrated it. But the pet's ears are just flat down. They're not blowing in the wind. And I just, I don't know about that. I like, I like the idea of having the photos on the back. All right, here she is out of her box. She's really cute. Again, she's got saran hair, which is gorgeous on her. Her hair is tied onto her jacket here somewhere, which is really frustrating, actually. Uh, I like her jacket. I have other plans for her jacket. It's not going to stay on her. But she's got earrings, a lot, lots of Barbie brand on here. Um, so her earrings, her um, necklace, and her ring. Her dress is covered in nostalgic 80s Barbie print. Sorry, there's... Um, it's been storming here recently and heavy rain. She's got her hair tied into four twist tails, I guess. Um, she does have a nice little face. I think this is Daisy from what I know. Um, I should have checked. 
she's got flat feet with some runners on these runners are kind of cool though i don't think i've got a pair that look like that so yeah she's really cute so what i was going to do with her is put this jacket i'm gonna have to take the ring off so i'm putting her jacket on to crystal because i think that would look really cute on her so i'll just do that now oh my god i <laughs> i really love this doll and my love for her has grown since i started playing around with her fashion and i basically kept her boots on i gave her this dress which is from the spice girls baby spice and and the the, the dog the choker from the dog uh, is now her well the collar from the dog is now her choker and I gave her uh, metal tiara to June and then I just I really wanted to get this doll here for the jacket not just for the jacket but to give Crystal her jacket because now she is really um just epic she look oh no sorry millie there we go yeah she just she's just looking amazing i'm working on her style and i think i have completed it now i think she would actually kind of look cute with a couple of space buns but i could also give her a different kind of headdress or something like that um but yeah this one i think she would match the yellow top or even um l from the looks line i do have two l's they're sisters so i'm not actually um she's not a spare she's she's a character in herself the two i've got two of them so anyway, that is Barbie Extra number 14. Her accessories are this little dog in a little Barbie car. It's cute. Um, she also comes with these fluoro pink heart sunnies and I really actually like them. So they look so adorable on her there. And this little purse which says Barbie and it opens up I'm gonna do something this is something this is something that doll junk showed me yesterday we went out doll hunting together and he put his little Malibu Barbie in this case and i wonder if it will work i'll have to take her out that's all right i'll do that i'll take her out and then display her in there i think now that i've taken this jacket off of the curvy i could possibly put this one on on her i got this from ethan uh, barbie's gbf and it was a scooby-doo daphne jacket from the 2000s i guess oh this is interesting look at her lumpy plastic there what is going on there that's bizarre anyway um I hope it's nothing serious, but that kind of gives the effect of ingrown hairs and stuff like that. So my doll has skin imperfections. Okay, that is, that is a cute look. I love that. I love that. We are now going to move on to the next doll. This one came out in May, around May. I have been looking for her for a long time. Uh, originally, we all thought she could be Raquel. She is not. She is 
wannabe Raquel. She is number 15 in the Barbie Extra line, and I love her. So this doll is the first doll I have gotten with this head sculpt. I've not liked any of the screenings on any version of this sculpt that has come out, except for this one. That's because she has such a Raquel face. Um, everyone thought she was Raquel, and she's not. She's wannabe Raquel, and that's what I've named her. She's wannabe Raquel. She is in the old box as well. Um, I love... So don't you think that is Raquel? That is such a pose that she would do. I, it's... Yeah. She comes with a diamond. Um, amazing boots that were from a Raquel doll. On the back, you've got her picture. I am probably going to cut that out. I really feel like... Um, I've said it a lot, she's Raquel, she's meant to be Raquel, she's want to be Raquel, but that picture to me is Raquel, because that is an illustration of a character and not of the doll. Alright, let's get her open. Lots of things just remind me how she isn't Raquel, and one of those things are these ears. Anyway, <laughs> she's got big ears. Um, she... She's gorgeous. She she looks like she could be Raquel's sister, I guess. Um, right, let's let's put them side by side. There's definitely a difference. They're definitely not the same. They're very similar though. Um, I guess wannabe has a more chin point and higher jawline. Raquel's a little more square, but she's still got the chin point. Her nose is very different. Um, yeah, so Wannabe kind of has a more round nose and Raquel has a more narrow one. But don't you think that they are giving the same energy? And also, I mean, Wannabe's got thicker eyebrows, but at the time, thick eyebrows were not in when this Raquel doll came out. They're giving me the same energy. Um, so much so that I have been slowly working on a Ra Raquel reroute. She's not finished, but I'm basically going to give her this outfit. I may end up getting another one of these dolls because I actually really do like her. She is the exception for this sculpt for me. Um, yeah, so many people have reviewed her by now, so I'm not really going to go deep into it. But she's got this cute little mesh top on, um, a nice necklace that has painted detail on it and then a little uh silver choker beautiful diamond earrings these little clips in her hair and uh the jacket with the purple ah oh, just so gorgeous and then these boots are originally Raquel's boots so yeah love her so much. She's got very long hair. The reroute I'm doing actually has really long hair as well. So I really hope that they use Raquel in the extra line. Um, yeah, that's that's um, something I, I'm, I'm dying for. But let's have a look at her accessories. Now she came with a little pizza bag purse thing. Um, she came with a weird phone. I guess it's a phone. I don't know why it's got a question mark on it. Uh, maybe that's the mystery. Give me your theories in the comments below with a stand so she can stand it up. I completely forgot about her sunnies. They are these little triangles. They're kind of cool. And she came with this adorable little Dalmatian with red sunnies. I wish the bow 
was red. I love red, white and black together and that's Tiffany's colours really. I know I've got her in a black and gold outfit. Gold is also something I like to put Tiffany in a lot. So red, black, gold, white, um, that's Tiffany's colour palette. And this dog would have been adorable with a red bow on its head. And let me know if you've got any of these dolls in your collection. I think Crystal has been spotted at Big W in Australia. I don't know where else she could be, but I spoke to both designers of the Nisa and the Crystal dolls that I reviewed last week. Carlisle said that I'm probably the first person to own that Crystal doll. That seems so unreal to me to think that I found her and no one else had her. I mean, we don't know that. There's so many people that don't have uh, social media connected to their Barbie. So they, there could be so many people that have them but haven't posted anything about them. I'm just the first one that has physically posted about having the Crystal and Nessa dolls. So, yeah. All right. I will see you all in the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment below telling me what your favourite dolls are, how you uh, make Millie work in your collection. Anyway, that's all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>